Hi, welcome to my podcast, Talking Travel with Wendy. I travel the globe interviewing really cool people in small hospitality and tourism businesses. Join me each week as I discover and share something or someone new with you. You can find more at www.travelwithwendy.net. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Thanks for joining us here today for Talking Travel with Wendy. I'm here once again with my friend Denise Taylor of Keep Alabama Beautiful. We're here on a chilly morning. You're going to have to guess where. Uh, In Huntsville, though, I'll give you a little hint. And uh, what was that? We're in Madison. Oh, we're in Madison. That's right. Yeah, see, I'm still learning my geography (laughs) 15 years later. (laughs) So, Denise, what's going on? Uh, well, we um, cover in the state, so litter, we're coming after you. <laughs> yes. And in so many cities. Last week, it was a 12-hour tour of the eastern part of the state, and this week we did uh, Central, just headed down 65 to the center point. And so, yeah, the cities in Alabama and Getting counties ready in Alabama, for, uh, spring cleanup. We are spring cleanup and litter prevention. So, yeah, litter, we're coming after you, and we're not going to let you come back on our roadway. That, that sounds good. <laughs> um, so this past month, I had the opportunity to meet some people with Leave No Trace, and they're all about, you know, education, too, and, and trying to tell people on the trails, on the hiking trails, please don't take things out on the trail and, and leave them everywhere so uh, and also like it's good for your pack because you don't want to take too much because it's too heavy anyway uh, so I definitely think like it's education is just key and just the little things along the way we can remind people mm-hmm. uh, to keep in your backpack if you're hitting the trails or uh, you know taking a baggie with you to maybe collect some of them but be safe because of COVID. <laughs> yes, yes, you know, and and what we really want to happen is if you take a bag out there with you, you don't need it. Yeah. Because the people before you right. have been responsible right. with the trash that is their trash. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I was driving last night along the roadway and it just hit me. It was pretty late, beautiful back road, uh, two lane, saw so many deer you know, was a little bit hesitant, hoping they would not run out in front of right, me. Right, right. But then realizing they're coming out to the roadway like that because of trash. Yeah. Because they're they're looking for food. Yeah. And so, you know, let's just keep it in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep it in the car. You know that that it is very uh, littering is dirty yeah. and it is dangerous. And it's also illegal. Yes. <laughs> so, but I just, it, I, had ne- I hadn't thought about that, but there were so many deer where there was so much litter. Right, right. So it does correspond. Yeah. Um, that they're, you know, coming out, it's drawing them out of the woods and they're crossing the roads. So we're heading into spring and you've got some river cleanups possibly happening? We have a lot of waterway cleanups and people have been doing the water cleanups around the land. Some okay. people are still, you know, getting out in the boats and um, cleaning up in the water. It's a little chilly. It is a little chilly. But we have watershed cleanups that are happening that, that mostly out, along the Tennessee River. All and, across Alabama. Okay, all you know, across. Alabama has so many rivers. I can, I'm at a loss. Yeah. <laughs> as to how many? I, I did know the number of major rivers that through Alabama. The watersheds in those areas. Sure. Uh, and I think even last year they said like kayak sales were up 66 percent and, yes. and so more people are hitting the trails mm-hmm. and more people hitting the trails we need to say you know be just be sure don't take stuff with you that you're gonna dump out on out of the boat or right. with right. you don't take it at all yeah, <laughs> so. just you know um, have a plan for anything that you take with you yeah how are you gonna be how will you use it will you need it and how will you stow it so it doesn't become uh, someone else's issue to pick clean up. Right, 
Right. Or contamination. Yes. Stuff like yes. that. It just doesn't need to be in a place where it doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I won't tell the stories of some of the things that we found in river cleanups, but it is shocking yeah. um, what you can find. Um, I will say I've, I've hiked recently on quite a few land trust mm -hmm. properties, and we're on one today. So take a guess at where you think we are. And um, I've been really impressed with not seeing so much trash mm -hmm. on the trail. So um, either people are becoming mindful when they're out on the trail and that this is a nonprofit that's trying to better the trails mm -hmm. around Huntsville and North Alabama. So, um, so that's been very encouraging. Oh yeah, and you know, I don't think people litter, uh, well some maybe, but people want to keep the spaces that they like clean and sometimes it can happen just the wind blows and it comes out of your pack and you don't realize it. Right. Um, so you you know it, it's not something that's done intentionally all the time. Right. But now is the time to you know to start cleaning up any litter that is out there along areas that will be mowed because sure. once it's mowed then it's multiplied. Yes. Uh, and it becomes harder to remove for volunteers or for groups or uh, municipalities to to get up so you know before mowing season starts this <laughs> is the time to start cleaning up in those areas sure so thank you denise for okay. updating us this month and look forward to next month and you have to guess where we are in our yeah. next location so stay tuned and please remember to keep alabama beautiful and uh, have a place have a plan and a place for your trash Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening to my podcast today and to Denise Taylor of Keep Alabama Beautiful. For more information on cleanups in your area or to become an affiliate, check out their Facebook page at Keep Alabama Beautiful. And if you like this content, don't forget to leave a review or consider being a Patreon patron. The links are below. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.